Hey guys, I know it's been a long time since I've done prayers for the day. I uh, didn't want to let go of January without doing so 2020. But I just want to do a quick shout out to my nephew, my wonderful nephew, Ricardo Daniel Gardea. I just want to say, nephew, I love you and I miss you. And happy late belated birthday. I hope you're doing well. Now, January 29th, this one goes out to Atiana. What's up, girl? Uh, my utmost for his highest, Oswald Chambers, a favorite of hers. How could someone be so arrogant? Exclamation mark is the title of this one. So let's begin. Who are you, Lord? Question mark. That's from Acts 26, 15. The Lord spoke thus to me with a strong hand. That's from Isaiah 8:11. There is no escape when our Lord speaks. Our higher self speaks to us in truth and love and compassion. He or she always comes using his authority and taking hold of our understanding. Has the voice of God come to you directly? Question mark. If it has, you cannot mistake the intimate insistence with which it has spoken to you. God speaks in the language you know best, not through your ears, but through your circumstances. God has to destroy our determined confidence in our own convictions. We say, quote, I know that this is what it this I know that this is what I should do. And suddenly the voice of God speaks in a way that overwhelms us by revealing the depths of our ignorance. We show our ignorance of him in the very way we decide to serve him. We serve Yeshua, Jesus, in a spirit that is not his and hurt him by our defense of him. We push his claims in the spirit of the devil. Our words sound all right. You see, we push his claims in the spirit of the devil. Well, what is the devil? It's those parts that aim to destroy and still and kill our peace. We push his claims in the spirit of the devil. So instead of in compassion and love and understanding and in acceptance and in allowance and in forgiveness, well, we just don't do that, but we try to push the message. Mm. We push his claims in the spirit of the devil. Our words sound all right, but the spirit is that of the enemy, that killjoy. He rebuked them and said, quote, you do not know what manner of spirit you are of. That's Luke 9, 5, 5, 9, chapter 9, verse 55 from Luke. The spirit of our Lord in his followers is described in 1 Corinthians 13. Have I been persecuting Yeshua or Jesus by an eager determination to serve him in my own way? If I feel I have done my duty, yet have hurt him in the process, I can be sure that this was not my duty. How do you hurt Yeshua, Jesus' spirit, in you? Well, you step further away from your peace you step further away from the direction that would lead you to the most abundant life. That's how you hurt. Period. That's just how you hurt. May my way will not be to foster a meek and quiet spirit, only the spirit of self-satisfaction. So what is a meek and quiet spirit? Meek, I've heard described as strength under control, power under control. How would you describe it? Put it in the comments, please. My, uh, my way will not be to foster a meek and quiet spirit, only the spirit of self-satisfaction. We presume that whatever is unpleasant is our duty, exclamation mark. And that anything like the spirit of our Lord, quote, I delight to do your will, oh my God. And that's how they ended it. That's from Psalms 48, 40, uh, chapter 40, verse 8. It's 
So let me repeat that. We presume that whatever is unpleasant is our duty, exclamation mark. Is that anything like the spirit of our Lord, which, quote, I delight to do your will, oh my God. Pretty self-explanatory. I like it. I like it. Now from Jesus Calling, Enjoying Peace in His Presence by Sarah Young. January 29th. Keep your focus on me. I have gifted you with amazing freedom, including the ability to choose the focal point of your mind. Wow. Did you know you were able to choose the focal point of your mind? Well, you are. Only the crown of my creation has such remarkable capability. This is a sign of being made in my image. Do you control your thoughts or do your thoughts control you? Because those thoughts lead to your emotions and your emotions can lead to your life being that of destruction or not of destruction. <sighs> Let the goal of this day be to bring every thought captive to me. In this book, the way it's describing captive to me is captive to your highest self. Captive to what is best for everyone around you. How could you best represent love in action, peace in action? Are your thoughts helping? And I understand having to have thoughts and, and speak them so that they're out of you, so that they can better be perceived and connected with and understood and be let go of or be accepted or be forgiven or be exalted or be worked towards a better um, tomorrow. But it's when we have that rat tail, repetitive, stuck in that cage of self-doubt and confusion and all that other stuff that we have to start going, no, I will capture my thoughts. And I will make them better because I want, I want better. I want to be of service in a better way. Whenever you mind, your mind wanders, lasso those thoughts and bring them into my presence or into the best presence possible for your state of mind and heart in that space and time and in, in precept by precept little bit by little bit um redirect them into uh where you want to live the space you want to reside in and share with and exuber exuberant out judgmental thoughts are unmasked as you bask in my unconditional love say that one again judgmental thoughts are unmasked as you bask in my unconditional love and that that judgment could it's not just towards others it's judgment of yourself which leads to horribleness if you judge yourself in a unhealthy because what is judgment if that judgment is coming from a place of of lies of not truth um it's just gonna screw you up so that understand who you are and understand where the judgments that you have against yourself came from and fix those so you can are able to not judge others it's kind of a necessity as far as i can see my unconditional love confused ideas are entangled while you rest in the simplicity of my peace you're like oh i get it ah all that energy for that really I will guard you and keep you in constant peace as you focus your mind on me. Focus your mind on love, service for the best of all, truth. Psalm 8, 5, Genesis 1, 26 through 27, 2 Corinthians 10, 5, and Isaiah 26, 3 from the Amplified Version is where those came from. Lastly, we have Whispers in His Whispers of His Power by Carmichael. Dun dun dun. The 29th. We have Exodus 39 43. And Moses did look upon all the work, and behold, they had done it as the Lord had commanded. Even so had they done it. And Moses blessed them. Let's find out what this one's about. Moses blessed them after he saw that all the work for the tabernacle had been done just as the Lord commanded. He did not give his blessing at the beginning of the work, for beginnings are easy, carrying on, and completing the work perfectly is much harder. But it is that which really matters. 
I often think of our Lord's word, words in John 17, 4. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And on the cross he said, it is finished. John 19, 30. Lord Jesus, who did finish all for us, hold us faithful to the end till we too can say, I have finished the work which thou givest me to do. I love that. I was talking to a dear friend who just, the other day out of nowhere popped up with like, why are they all put it all on Jesus? <sighs> like, how is that fair? <laughs> that, you know, through his sacrifice, you know, how does everybody else get away with it? Oh, he did it, so I just have to follow him and it's all good. Eh, I like this better. And I'll repeat it. Lord Jesus, who did finished all for us? Who did finished? what his job was to do as an example for us. Hold us faithful to the end till we too can say, I have finished the work which thou hast given me to do. By your example. I'll finish it with this. Yeshua, Jesus also said that he expects a lot better from us. That's a limitless possibility right there. So let's get the basics then that we can persevere towards the end and keep up in the bar of the possibilities that are good and light. Namaste. Love you guys. Hasta mañana.